What if I told you there's a gas floating through your body right now that could reverse heart disease, boost your brain, improve circulation, and even supercharge your bedroom life? And almost nobody is talking about it. It's not oxygen, it's not carbon dioxide, it's nitric oxide. And it might be the most underrated molecule in modern medicine. So stick with me because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to boost your body's natural nitric oxide levels and why doing so could literally change your life. So let's dive into the molecule your doctor probably never mentioned, but should have. Let me take you back to a moment I'll never forget. I was at the gym, nothing crazy, just doing my usual routine. I finish a light jog, sit down, and notice this older guy, probably late 60s, doing burpees like he's 25. I'm not kidding, no wheezing, no sweating bullets, just absolute control. After the session, I had to ask, I go, hey man, what's your secret? He smiles and says, nitric oxide. I blink, I said, nitric what? That moment sent me down the rabbit hole and what I found shocked me. Nitric oxide, NO for short, is a tiny molecule produced in your body. It's literally a gas and it acts like a signaling molecule. Think of it like your body's Wi-Fi network, allowing cells to communicate and blood vessels to relax and widen. And get this, it's so powerful that it won the Nobel Prize in 1998. Yeah, a gas won a Nobel Prize. But barely anyone's talking about it today. Why? Well, it's not exactly patentable. You can't make money off of it. You can't sell a gas and a pill and make billions unless you're sneaky, but I'm not here to sell you hype. I'm here to show you how your body already makes this miracle molecule and how you can turn the dial way up. So how does nitric oxide actually work? Picture this, you've got highways in your body, your blood vessels. Over time, stress, bad food, lack of movement, basically modern life, clogs those highways. Nitric oxide acts like a magical road crew. It widens those blood vessels, clears the traffic, and gets the good stuff, oxygen and nutrients, exactly where it needs to go. And here's where it gets wild. Low nitric oxide levels are linked to heart disease, high blood pressure, erectile dysfunction, cognitive decline like dementia and Alzheimer's, poor wound healing, and even diabetes. Now you're probably wondering where does this stuff come from? Like, is there a nitric oxide factory in the body? Actually, yes. There are two main pathways. Number one, the endothelial pathway. This is where your blood vessels produce NO using an enzyme called ENOS, endothelial nitric oxide synthase. But here's the kicker, it needs arginine and oxygen to work. And the older you get, the less efficient this system becomes. Number two, nitrate nitrite nitric oxide pathway. This one relies on the food you eat, specifically nitrate rich veggies like beets and arugula. Your body converts dietary nitrate into nitrite and then into nitric oxide. So yes, your body makes nitric oxide, but only if you give it the right tools. Let me ask you this. When was the last time you ate raw arugula and actually enjoyed it? Exactly. But wait, why isn't this common knowledge? Well, because most health solutions today focus on managing symptoms, not fixing the root cause and nitric oxide. Well, it's all about fixing the root. So here's where it gets exciting and kind of frustrating. There's mounting research showing that nitric oxide could revolutionize how we approach some of the deadliest conditions. For instance, a study from the University of Texas found that increasing nitric oxide levels helped improve vascular function in older adults, reducing blood pressure significantly without drugs. Another study published in Nature found nitric oxide plays a critical role in preventing clot formation, which is a huge deal for stroke and heart attack prevention. And yes, studies have confirmed it helps with erectile dysfunction. You can thank improved blood flow for that one. There's also some new research showing it may actually prevent Alzheimer's and brain disease and even cure it. But here's the kicker. Big Pharma would rather sell you a pill a day for the rest of your life than tell you that one molecule your body already produces that could do the job better. Is that a conspiracy? I'll let you decide. But here's what you can do right now to take back control. Let's talk solutions because boosting nitric oxide levels naturally isn't just possible. It's honestly kind of fun. Number one, eat more nitrate rich foods. Start with leafy greens like spinach, arugula, kale, and beetroot. Beets in particular are nitric oxide gold. Try beet juice or roasted beets. Bonus points, they're great for your liver too. Two, get moving. Exercise, especially HIIT, the high intensity interval training or resistance training stimulates nitric oxide production. Think of every workout as a nitric oxide generator. Even a brisk walk helps. Three, breathe through your nose. Weird, right? But nasal breathing 
produces more nitric oxide than breathing through your mouth. Try it next time you're walking or meditating. Close your mouth and let your nose do the work. Number four, use nitric oxide boosting supplements. Here are a few that are backed by science. L-arginine and L-citrulline. These are amino acids your body uses to produce NO. Beetroot powder or juice, convenient and effective maybe, but apparently you need to take a whole lot of it. Magnesium, it supports the enzymes involved in nitric oxide production. Vitamin C and E, they protect NO from breaking down too quickly. I've personally tried a combo of beetroot juice and L-citrulline, and let me tell you, I felt charged. Like every cell was breathing deeper. And yes, my cardio improved within a week. But here's a warning, over-the-counter nitric oxide boosters are often junk. Stick to the clean, science-backed options. Read the labels. If it sounds like something from a comic book, probably skip it. All right, so what have we learned? Nitric Nitric oxide isn't just some obscure molecule, it's the spark plug behind your cardiovascular system, your brain function, your endurance, even your, say, let's say, romantic confidence. And best of all, your body wants to make it. You just have to give it the tools. So if you're tired of feeling sluggish, foggy, or just off, this could be your missing link. Not a new drug, not a magic potion, just a simple molecule and a few lifestyle tweaks. Now I want to hear from you. Have you ever tried beetroot supplements or arginine? Do you feel a difference when you eat more greens? What's your go-to for boosting energy without caffeine? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. And hey, if this video opened your eyes even a little, smash that like button so more people can discover the power of nitric oxide. Subscribe for more real, honest, health info that actually helps. No hype, just healing. Because here on Health Revival, we're not just surviving, we're reviving. See you in the next one. Health Revival out.